Hey, what's up you bunch of badasses? Wacky Weirdo here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a little egotistical motherfucker by the name of Ninja. You've probably heard of him before. Well, during one of his recent live streams, he pretty much says that Drake used him for viewers. And when I seen that clip for the first time yesterday, I laughed so hard, I, I just thought it was so stupidly funny that this blue-haired dweeb who sits on his ass every day playing a game made for 11-year-olds thinks that an upper echelon superstar like Drake, who's been in the game for over a decade and who has collaborated with Eminem, Rihanna, Lil Wayne, Kanye West, and so forth, needs him to succeed. Needs him to gain fans. Are you fucking serious, Ninja? <laughs> It just cracks me up and people seem to think that he was just joking and he even said in a, another live stream that he was just joking and he doesn't know why people took it so serious well that's because if you watch that clip and really look at his facial expression and the tone of his voice he was a hundred percent serious when he said that shit so let's go ahead and watch it Ninja, you buying drink scorpion jack original album you can get your name stitched on the back also pretty dope um i you know, is he gonna buy, you know, my next line of ninja merch? No. You know? Or my ninja headband? The answer is fuck no, ninja. Drake is a grown ass man. He's not a part of your preteen pon pon posse. Anybody over the age of 16 should not be buying your stupid fucking headbands. Probably not. I feel like. Drake saw that I was up and coming in the gaming scene and he thought it would be a perfect way to just tap into another source of, of viewers by playing with me. <laughs> oh, it still makes me laugh, dude. Did, did you see him? Just the way he was like, he got all like serious. And then he's like, yeah, I think Drake pretty much used me to get viewers. Like, really? There's no way in hell Drake would ever need to use you to get new fans or new viewers. Let's go ahead and check the social media stats, shall we? Oh, look at this. Drake, 43 million followers on Instagram. What does Blevins got? Only 7 million. What about Twitter? On Twitter, Drake has 37.6 million followers. Ninja only has 2.71. So... Who's using who in this situation? If anything, Ninja used Drake. Sure, Drake was the one that hit up Ninja and asked him if he wanted to play. But you know, when that happened, Ninja was thinking to himself, like, yes, if I play with Drake, I will get all the viewers. And I will get hundreds of thousands of new Twitch Prime subs. Let's make it happen. Because before he played with Drake, he was getting between what, like 90,000 to like 120,000 viewers. When he played with Drake and Drake tweeted out his channel, those viewers bumped up to over 600,000 thanks to Drake. If it wasn't for Drake, he would have been stuck at 100,000 like he normally gets. So Drake tweeting that stream out boosted his viewership by like 500,000. So there's no way in hell Drake would ever use Ninja. It's definitely the other way around. And I think Ninja, he's just got such a big head now. His ego is through the roof. He's got delusions of grandeur. He thinks he's more important than anybody else. He wants every single viewer on Twitch to use their prime sub on him. Well, my OBS crashed. But anyways, as I was saying, Ninja's greedy. He wants all the viewers on Twitch to give him their Twitch Prime sub. That's why he's constantly mentioning how you can connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and you can sub to him for free and save a fucking unicorn. It's ridiculous. He needs to just learn to be humble and be thankful. Because if it wasn't for Fortnite, he would not be where he's at right now at all. He'd just be another streamer and Drake wouldn't even know who the fuck he is. Thanks to Fortnite... His popularity boosted to the moon, and so did his ego. But just think, what if Epic Games never added a Battle Royale mode to Fortnite? What if it was just a save the world game? 
the four-player co-op. Do you think Ninja would be as popular as he is right now? Do you think he'd be running around with this big ego, thinking famous people like Drake used him? Hell to the naw. That motherfucker would still be screaming into his mic, cussing at little kids that that he kills on H1Z1. It's called you. Ki it's called you kiss your mother with that fucking mouth, huh? Oh my huh? God, why are you so <laughs> Because the fucking youth of society. <laughs> you shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! And that's pretty much it. He'd be the asshole that he is. You know, right now he's putting on a facade. He's making everybody seem like he's nice, he's generous, he's this good guy TVG streamer. When deep inside, he's a fucking dickhead who likes to scream, who likes to curse. Who probably has anger management issues and sometimes you'll see that come out of him during his streams like I've seen clips from recent streams where you kind of you see the real him and also in some of his tweets you can see the real him but like I said for the most part he puts on the facade that way he keeps the viewers around keeps the subs keeps the sponsorships but yeah man he just needs to check his ego be humble quit acting like he's hot shit because eventually that will fade. Eventually Fortnite will no longer be as popular as it is. He won't be reeling in the amount of viewers that he's reeling in these past six, seven, eight months. And he'll be back to the old ninja, pull in a couple thousand viewers every stream instead of a hundred thousand. Because if you want to be a dickhead, you want to boost your own ego, you want to act like you're the greatest gift to man, then that karma is going to come and kick you in the balls. But anyways, I just thought I would say my piece on this. I just thought it was funny and worth talking about. I've seen a lot of other people talking about it, so I figured, hey, I might as well hop in on the conversation too. Because it's funny. And Ninja, he just he's always doing something to irritate people. But anyways, uh, what do you guys think about the situation? Do you think Ninja was actually saying that Drake used him? Do you think he was joking? Do you think he was being serious? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll continue this motherfucking conversation. Peace. Welcome to the end of the video. If you made it here, you kick ass and deserve a crisp high five. Now please consider hitting subscribe. It'll only take a second and it'll make me really happy.